Hi, air sign. Okay, so um, we are doing your hmm, May 3rd. May 3rd, 2018. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys for today. I'm feeling like a lot of Libras are feeling really good. Like, there's a lot of good shit happening. In, I'm saying Libras. I don't know why that came to me. Yes, Libras. Um, Libras and Aquarius. I feel like you guys are going through huge transformations right now. I'm not leaving you out, Gemini. I'm just saying I feel like Libra and Aquarius right now, they're really, they've been going through a lot. So let's see what's going on with my air signs today. The aether, the breath, spirit. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. One more shuffle and I think we're good. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Air signs. Okay. This morning, you guys have the Four of Swords. Taking a break. Taking a load off. This evening, oh, this afternoon, you have the Devil in Reverse. Okay. You know, um, getting away from some type of unhealthy attachment. That's really good. And this evening, you have the Moon in Reverse. Hmm. Okay. And the overall energy that you guys are dealing with today um, is the Ace of Pentacles. An offer. Okay. Someone's going to offer you something um, today, air sign, which is really good. This could be, um, this is a tangible. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. What did I, okay, first of all, what did I just say, air sign? I said that I feel like um, Libra and Aquarius are going through a lot right now. Gemini, not leaving you out. But air sign, I feel like something very magical was happening in the air for you guys. You guys are the air. You guys are the ether. You guys are the spirit, the breath, the life. And I feel like there's like a lot of magical energy like happening to you guys, like real shit. Your, your readings are have been so fucking magical. When you look at this, yo, look at this shit. Are you, air sign, are you, are you kidding me? Like, okay, first of all, air sign, there's going to be an offer made to you, many offers, okay? Like, you're getting a lot of offers today or in this week, this month. I'm just seeing a lot of offers coming your way, period. A lot of people are wanting to offer you money. Um, you have the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Ace of Wands, followed by the Ace of Swords. For reals? Ugh. Okay, here's what I'm saying. Air sign, I feel like you have a lot of mental clarity. Like you are on top of your game mentally. You are smart. You know what you want. You you um you have a lot of mental clarity. And I feel like you are very clear about your passion and what you want and how to get it. And I feel this is just one scenario. You are sharing your truth with the world, air sign. You're sharing your truth with the world, and this is something that you have studied, something that you are you have learned. This is a, something that you are very passionate about. And I feel like you're sharing that passion with the world, and you're being rewarded for that. People are wanting to pay you for sharing your passion, sharing your truth, sharing your clarity, sharing the things that you know, the things that you have experienced with the world. And I feel like because you are doing this, because you are sharing your truth, because you are sharing your passion with other people and you're teaching them and you're helping inspire them, I feel like you are getting hella offers. This could be, um, you're getting offers from the universe, from spirit, you're getting offers energetically, you're getting offers you know, um, mentally, things are coming to you, you're getting offers monetarily, love offers. Now, the only offer I don't see here is the offer of love, okay? So I don't see the Ace of Cups, so I feel like air signs, you guys are really more focused on your coins, you're focused on your passion, you're focused on your truth, you're trying to find your truth, you're doing a lot of studying and research, and this new beginning that you guys started you guys this is golden like whatever you guys have started whatever whatever you have started recently go it it's a yes it's a it's a hell yes okay it's a fucking jar of yeses like for for real yes whatever you are doing keep doing it 
like I said, another magical day for you. Like everything is coming to you. You're getting offers. You're getting offers of money. Um, maybe people are asking you, wow, because they see how passionate you are, because they see how truthful you are. People are starting to recognize you and give you offers. Um, I feel like too, people are finding you very attractive, very sexy. Um, maybe they're feeling very passionate about you. And I feel like this is all because you have, you're finding your truth and you're following it. You're standing true in your truth. And I feel like this is why all these offers are coming to you, air sign. And I feel like people are watching you and you and you are like attractive and you're sexy and you're vivacious and you're passionate about what you're doing and you're not you're you're being honest about it and you're helping people oh good shit okay so today is just going to be a great fucking day for you like i told you like i think it was the, the second as well the second was a magical day for you too i just feel like there's a lot going on i feel like you guys are starting a lot um I feel like there's a lot of air signs who are light workers, spiritual guides, spiritual mediums, tarot readers, and I feel like whatever you guys have just recently started or whatever you guys are doing, it's working for you. Like, yes, keep doing it. Whatever it is, like whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is that's coming to your mind, if you're getting like downloads or you're um you're picking up things telepathically, yes, 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 yes. So you don't have to be in your head about is this right for me? You don't have to be thinking like Oh, am I on the right path? Am I doing things right? Is this, I mean, this is going to go well. The answer is yes, air sign. The answer is yes. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it and keep loving it, okay? You might have to deal with a little bit of jealousy as well. So just remember that um, because, you know, when you start doing good, people, people get jealous, okay? So... Um, you got to take the good with the bad. So this morning, I'm sorry, that was like a long introduction, but like after seeing, like that's some powerful shit right there. Like that is fucking beautiful. Okay. So this morning you have the four of swords with the, um, uh, with the chariot in reverse. So I feel like this morning, um, you may be taking a break. Maybe you're having a little bit of tr car trouble because, um, whenever you see the chariot, it's movement. I always think of this as a car in these days. Okay. This is movement for movement. And maybe you're having a little bit of trouble with your car, car trouble this morning, and it's causing you to take a break somewhere, take a rest. Um, also too, as well, I feel like, <laughs> okay, hear me out. I feel like you guys are trying to take a break, but no, mm-mm. Mm -mm. You should have, you should have, you should have took a break before you started this new endeavor. You should have took a break before you started this because I feel like it's all systems go now. Like no more breaks, air sign. Like you should have been taking your break two weeks ago. So hopefully whatever you've been through, you've healed from it because the universe is like, no, break time is over. It's all systems go now. Okay. So like, um, that's one scenario this morning. Also too, you could be dealing with a cancer. Okay. And um, you're struggling to have forward movement with this person, okay? You're kind of at a, you know, you're kind of at a standstill. You just want to take a rest from this person or you're just, um, or you could, you could just, you want, to, you want to take a rest from like not being able to move forward. Maybe you're feeling like, oh my gosh, um, you've been, or maybe it's like you've been moving around so much and doing so much shit. You just want to take a break. I just want to take a load off because I've been moving around nonstop. Okay. Um, so that could be one uh, case scenario. So maybe you're just, you've just been like really, really busy air sign and you're kind of tired, but the universe is like, no, okay. Drink some water, take a cat nap and just get right back in there. Okay. Because whatever is going on, this is, this is your part of your life's work. And I feel like it's all system. It's all systems go. Okay, and I feel like you might be trying to, you know, you might be a little bit sleepy, or you might be want to take a break. Um, this could be car trouble or anything like that. Okay, so this afternoon you have the devil in reverse, and you have the knight of rods in reverse. So I feel like air sign. I have two scenarios. I feel like you're detaching yourself. Um, you're detaching yourself from unhealthy patterns, toxic patterns. I feel like maybe maybe in the past you were a player, you were flighty, you were aloof, you were in and out, hot and cold, a little bit bipolar uh, maybe, um, uh, you know, overzealous. And I feel like you are detaching yourself from those characteristics about you. You're detaching yourself from, you're detaching yourself from those parts about you. You're seeing yourself differently. You're acting differently. You're being differently. I also see here too, you're detaching yourself from a situation or a person who acts like this. You're attaching yourself from someone who is in and out of your life, someone who's not consistent, someone um, who's very flighty, someone who's not there long-term and they're, you know, they're not going to be with you long-term. Okay. 
And I feel like you're detaching yourself from this. Um, like you don't want to be this person anymore. You don't want to deal with this type of energy anymore. Okay. I don't know why it feels, I feel like my hair is like shrinking or something. I don't know. So that's good this afternoon. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're detaching yourself from a lot of toxicity and negative energy and um, things that are harming you spiritually. So that is really good. This evening, you have the moon card in reverse with the two of swords and the emperor in reverse. So, okay, I'm seeing maybe you're dealing with, I see the, I see the moon again. So it could be a cancer significant in your, uh, your life today. Um, I'm seeing cancer and I'm seeing a uh, fire sign. Okay, so maybe maybe a cancer and a fire sign is significant to you, significant in your life or significant to you today. Um, and then I also have Aries here. So there's the, the fire sign again. So I feel like this evening, um, I feel like this evening, air sign, you're struggling to make a decision about someone that you feel is very controlling, manipulative, um, someone who's very like, you know, this, this person, they may come off like very confident and sure of themselves and in control, but really they're not really, they're like, um, a fucking coward or like they're a manipulator or they're, they feel very powerless. They feel very powerless or they feel like they, they have a lack of control in their life. And I feel like something about the situation, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it clearly. Like I feel like, or I feel like you're seeing this person for who they are. And you're like, you know what? I'm not really liking this person. This person is not who I thought they were. And I feel like you're you're making a decision about someone because there was a secret that came out or you were illuminated about something or um, you just, you're starting to see this person for who they are, like truly inside of them. And I also feel like this has to do with the full moon that we just had. So I feel like the full moon, because um, it was a full moon in Scorpio and I feel like the full moon has revealed some things to you about some people and now you're making some decisions to cut some people the fuck out of your life. Because they are not who they say they were, and they're not who they th you. They are not who you thought they were, and I feel like you're making a decision to cut them out. I, I do. You might be it might be wavering. You might be you know you might be going back and forth in your head a little bit. But I do like air sign. Follow your intuition. You're right. Like whatever you found out about this person, you're right. Okay. Cut them out. Let them go. Might be trying to hold you back. This person could be jealous of you as well because I always like the emperor. Like, ugh, I do not like the emperor in reverse. Not sexy. So if this is who you're dealing with, air sign, if you're dealing with an emperor in reverse, let them go. Like they are so weak. They really are. And they don't have. They they don't have any type of confidence or control or like self esteem. Like they're just. Ugh, they're just whack and weak as hell. Um, okay, so let's see what advice you guys have for today. I mean, after that reading, it's like, even if you are dealing with someone like this, even if you are having car trouble or, um, you're trying to take a break in the universe, um, or you're trying to take a, you're, you're trying to figure out, or you're, you're meditating on why, uh, I feel like this morning too, I'm getting something else. I feel like this morning too, uh, air sign, you're meditating on why something is not moving forward, why someone has not come forward, why there's no forward movement in a situation. I feel like this morning you might be praying about that or thinking about that heavily or just contemplating that a lot. Okay. So let's see what guidance you guys have for today. This is kind of a long reading. Sorry, but. Okay, so the guidance that you guys have for today, air sign, is the un unconditional love. I know that. Okay. Okay, air sign. It says, love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Okay. So I think this is in regards to this person. This is also in regards to this person. I feel like you're dealing with a lot of people in your life, air sign, and I feel like they're all in the reverse. You have the cancer sign in reverse. You have the... Fire sign in reverse. I think always think of Sagittarius when I see this. And you also have the emperor in reverse. So I feel like you're dealing with three people who are very insecure, unsure of themselves. Um, they're having a lot of spiritual blockages. Um, so in regards to people, I feel like you're dealing with a lot of people. You have a lot of people in your circle and none of them are feeling as optimal as you are. So, and I, and I feel like you might be dealing with a lot of bullshit, a lot of jealousy, a lot of manipulation. Um, but I feel like 
air sign, it doesn't don't matter. It doesn't matter what happens, or it doesn't matter how the situation may appear. You have to offer unconditional love regardless. You have to still love these fucking people, even if they're on some bullshit. All right, because you are the spirit. You are the ether. You know, you have to be the bigger person because you are working with spirit. All right, so just love them. Love them through the bullshit. You got to. You got to love them unconditionally. Okay, everybody goes to their shit. Meet people where they are. Right. So your lesson for today. Um, and I feel like even if, even if these people are coming off like they don't give a shit about you, they do. They fucking love you, all right? Um, but when someone's insecure and unsure of themselves and they're feeling powerless and they're not, they're not feeling authoritative or assertive, this is, they come off like they don't care. They try to, you know, you know, bullshit, immature shit. Oh, I go. Okay, it says, again, see the good in everything. Another, like, this is, the universe is like, you guys are just getting downloads. Hello? Hello? Okay, it says, today's lesson, this is a day for optimism only, no matter what comes your way. Your task is to see only the favorable attributes in it. Your goal, to practice the power of positive thinking. Yes, because you have amazing shit happening to you. Don't let anybody steal your shine. Don't let anybody come in and steal your... um energy no energy vampires right and no matter who comes at you or how they come at you and you know the situation may be just be happy be loving be you know laugh that shit off it's nothing to you because you have good things coming your way and this is only for one day okay so mm. all right go now air sign that's a very good reading so i hope this helps you guys please like and subscribe thank you